got another review video today. This time we're going to be looking at the Lindbergh 140 scale F11 Tiger. Now unfortunately I did not check online to see if anyone else makes F11s, so bear with me. Now, one major, major problem that this kit has right out the gate is the nose. It is way, way too short. In fact, I would say it's short by at least a quarter inch, maybe a little more. And that's even that's for doing a early production type F11. If you do a late one, to do a later one, it would have to be much longer. Um, additionally, another problem this kit has is the wing fences are um, too long. They did not wrap down onto the underwing, and they only came up to about the, here, where the slat starts. So, that's a knock against this kit right out the door. Um, again, same issues on the other side. Uh, tail fins look good. Um, also has this little marker piece. Now, one really nice thing about this kit is that it includes a full engine. Um, which basically covers from the compressor blade all the way to the nozzle, which is very nice in my opinion. You don't see that very often. Um, here we have also various miscellaneous details. Uh, pilot figure has almost no um, detail to it and is basically unusable. Uh, ejection seat seems a little thick. Uh, again, details are fairly rudimentary. And yeah. Here we have the main clear, or only clear piece for the canopy. Um, seems a little small for to be in proper scale for this particular aircraft. Uh, moving on, decals have some yellowing, but they do seem in good register. And so. Now, if we go into the instruction manual, uh, again, see, there's actually almost no detail to the cockpit. Yeah. As there's no, uh, or, okay, I, I see what they did now. They, here, they have you stick in the rudimentary stick and there and then later here they have you stick in the instrument panel. I apologize for that. Uh, anyway though, assembly does seem straightforward. It does have the interesting bit of having several of the various parts movable which is kind of nice. As it does give you some options. Uh, however, there is definitely rudimentary detail in the nose gear. Or, and only minuscule in the main gear. It does come with rockets to mount on the wings, but that's about it. Uh, painting assembly or painting instructions are adequate and definitely do the job. So, um, overall, this kit is not that great. I mean, it has major issues particularly with the nose as I mentioned before as well as the lack of detail in a lot of areas um, however it is on the fair on the cheaper side so if there are other uh, F11 kits out there by other companies that are more detail you could potentially get this for the stuff like the engine full engine and the like and you know, do some kit bashing. For that, in that regards, I would say yes, definitely uh, get this kit as it does have some things you can use. But 
other than that, uh, I would say don't unless you can get it as a steal. Then yeah, maybe if you absolutely have to have F11, or if I'm incorrect and there aren't any other in this scale. So that was a look at the Limburg 148 scale F11 Tiger kit. Until uh, next time.